Husqvarna designs, engineers, manufactures, and distributes motocross, enduro, supermoto, and street motorcycles. The company was founded in 1903 in Husqvarna, Sweden. And to this very day, the company is still alive and healthy. How did it become so popular? Well, let's find out. Prior to 1987, Husqvarna was Husqvarna. founded near the Maybe town of wild. Husqvarna in Sweden in, 19- in 1689. The company started out as a marker of muskets, and the Husqvarna logo still depicts a gun sight viewed far, far from from the viewed from the end of the barrel. As many motorcycle manufacturers. Husqvarna first began producing bicycles in the late 19th century. In 1903, they made the jump to motorcycle manufacturing. The first Husky motorcycles used imported engines, and it was not until 1918 that Husqvarna began producing machines built entirely in-house. Around that time, they secured a contract with the Swedish army and began entering cross-country and long-distance motorcycle races. In 1920, Husqvarna established its own engine factory and the first engine to be designed with a 50cc four-stroke, 50-degree side valve V-twin engine, similar to those made by companies like Harley-Davidson and Indian. Husqvarna competed in Grand Prix road racing in the 350cc and the 500cc classes during the 1930s and was Sweden's largest motorcycle manufacturer by 1939. All of the racing bikes were based on a 50-degree V-twin prototype built by Bolt Manistrid in 1931. The company team beat the Norton Works team at, at the Swedish GP in 1931 with a, with a 1-2 finish by Ran, Ragnar Sund, Sundqvist and Gunnar Kallen. This and next year's success led to a full commitment to the GP tracks with Stanley Woods and Ernie Knott joining the Husqvarna riding team. That year, Knott finished third in the 350cc Junior TT and Woods ran out of gas eight miles before the finish of the Senior TT. In 1935, the company withdrew racing support, but new bikes were still produced and raced privately, while the company focused on producing a new two-stroke, two-speed commuter bike. That year, Woods won the Swedish GP, marking the fourth year in a row that a Husky had won on a 500cc Husqvarna motorcycle that weighed 279 pounds, which is 127 kilograms. In the 1960s, their lightweighted two-stroke engine off-road bikes helped make the once-dominant British four-stroke motorcycles obsolete. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Husqvarna was a dominant force in the motocross world, winning 14 motocross world championships in the 125cc, 250cc, and 500cc divisions, 24 Enduro World Championships, and 11 Baja 1000 victories. Automobile Manufacturing Toward the end of World War II, a team comprising Benjit Magnusson, head of R&D, Stig Tham, engineer, Cal Hemdahl, engineer designer, and Bridger Johnson, investigated manufacturer of a, of a small, simple, inexpensive car. 
The design looked similar to the Saab 92, but the three wheels, but with three wheels, two front, one back, and was an unusual split rear window. According to some sources, the similarities with the Saab 92 may have had something to do with the 16 Sasson working as a working as designer at Husqvarna. A prototype was built in 1943, powered by a 20 HP, which is 15 kW, two-cylinder, 500 cc DKW motorcycle engine with chain drive to the rear wheel. The wheels came from a Fiat 500. The project was canceled in 1944. And the prototype was scrapped at the end of the 1950s bicycle manufacturing. Husqvarna is also prominent in Swedish bicycle history. They have been one of the Swedish military bicycle manufacturers. Husqvarna's Novo Hub com competed well with imports, but bicycle manufacturing was discontinued in the early 1960s. Ownership changes and an acquisition by KTM. In 1987, Husqvarna Motorcycle Division, not the other arms of the brand such as Chainsaw Production, was sold to Italian motorcycle manufacturer Kegiva and became part of the and became part of MV Augusta Motor SPA, a group of the company's managers and engineers were not willing to move to Italy and therefore founded Husaberg AB, which was acquired by KTM AG in 1995. Husqvarna motorcycles were then produced in Varsi, Italy. In July 2007, Husqvarna motorcycles was purchased by BMW for a reported 93 million pounds. BMW Motorrad planned to continue operating Husqvarna motorcycles as a separate enterprise. All development sales and production activities, as well as the workforce, remained at the Varsi location. BMW intended to position Husqvarna as the two-wheeled version of what Mini is to the BMW's car division. On January 31st, 2013, BMW Group announced that Superior Industry AG has bought full stake in Husqvarna AG for an undisclosed amount. Superior Industry AG CEO Stefan Purer was also the CEO of Cross Industries AG, then the main shareholder of KTM's sport motorcycle AG parent KTM AG and the CEO of KTM AG. Later in 2013, direct ownership of, Hus of the Husqvarna company was transferred and license rights were sold from Purier Industry AG to KTM AG, making the newly established Husqvarna motorcycle GMBH part of the KTM group. Husqvarna motorcycle production at Meti Golfin in Austria started on, on October 7, 2013. At the same time, Husqvarna spin-off Husqvarna was reunited with Husqvarna, terminating the existence of Husqvarna brand. Recent developments. Husqvarna Motorcycles produces a diverse range of motor of motocross, enduro, and supermoto machines using their own two-stroke or four-stroke engines, ranging in, in capacity from 125 cc to 693 cc. Racing continues to be important to Husqvarna, with factory teams participating regularly in World Enduro, Motocross, Supercross, and Supermoto Championships.